Hi Scorpios, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys missed me and anyway today we're gonna be doing your I'm gonna take a look at March what's gonna be taking place in March I'm gonna do a different reading which is gonna be more astrology based today if you're drawn actually I kind of missed doing tarot a little bit so we're gonna mostly focus on the tarot part if you're watching this before February 14 we still have one last day so February 13 February 14 in our shop there is still a Valentine's Day sale going on I actually also opened an option I have I think one place open for personal astrologer for those of you who want to work on me more with me more often one-on-one -on -one. check it out have one available what else um let's get started how is your Valentine's Day going Scorpio I feel like there is some tension I gotta be honest there is a little bit of tension some of you guys are trying to distract yourself maybe focus on things that are going better but let's take a look I just feel that a lot of you are very tense like getting maybe headaches a little bit more lately or just feeling like you're tense like you just gotta let loose like you gotta I mean like best way to release the energy maybe is not the one that's available if you know what I mean but Try and see how what's the next best basically. So <laughs> let's see. All right, we have your Page of Cups and the Fool. Your two first cards. Page of Cups and the Fool. Expect a message. I'm not sure if you guys have been recently communicating with either an ex or an ex been trying to make a re reappearance in in your life. If it's not an ex, it could be just a person who I think is gonna express that they have romantic feelings for you, but you're gonna be really surprised because of that. It's like there is this person, maybe there's something silly about them, maybe there's something funny about them, maybe it's somebody who is younger than you, or just not the usual type you date. I feel like there is someone who expresses their attraction to you, or maybe even you find yourself attracted to someone unexpectedly, and you're like, oh wow, I didn't see this one coming. Like, you know how sometimes, I don't know, one day you just like, go to a grocery store and like I had this one time there was this one guy who was at Whole Foods feeling <laughs> selling like a fi fish section and I was like oh my god I've never seen such attractive guy in my life there was something about the masculinity like the fisherman and <laughs> I don't know I'm weird but and we have the fish here too so yeah you could just basically long story short find yourself maybe attracted to someone who is not normally your type or maybe you could find someone expressing attra their attraction their interest in you and it could be unexpected i feel like this connection or just this little even experience even if it's not long term is gonna make you feel like you've just cleansed yourself like you're fresh out of the water there is a new beginning here like you guys are just okay I'm ready maybe some of you guys were not dating for a long time and finally you're getting that tinder that I don't know whatever apps out there having said that I don't have an app I need to get an app I think I I, I don't know I need to get an app and an assistant so I could tinder while someone does my work but I don't know we'll see okay let's see what else we have here the chariots. Let's take all the other cards too. We have here three of swords. We have here the eight of swords and the king of swords with the six of wands. If it was a Cancerian or a Leo who broke your heart before, Spurs feels hurt. They wish maybe even during Valentine's Day or during March they could say something to you. I don't see this person necessarily is doing that. I feel like you have some residual pain over a previous relationship where you just feel like, wow, this one really sucked. <laughs> like I hear some of you saying that. I feel like for some of you there is a little bit, maybe it's not going to resonate with all of you, but I see that for some of you there is some very deep-seated pain that you haven't allowed yourself to release yet. And I know you're going to say that, oh, we've been transforming for such a long time. Oh, we've been going through so much different things for such a long time. I thought I purged, I thought I released. There is something, it's almost like you made yourself so strong right now. You made yourself like you have it all together so much, maybe focus so much on your career goals, where you want to go with your life, that there is a part which, which you almost kind of, tamed it's like you haven't released the pain i feel like you have tamed the pain and it's not the same thing it's almost like for you guys for some of you there is going to be this opportunity to have this final surrender and final cry over something and i know i had a video before which talked about this to release that because i see that some scorpios here 
you've been feeling a bit tougher like agree with me please on that i feel like in the past months or so past two months you might have been feeling tougher especially january might have been a bit hard because saturn in western astrology was very close to pluto with this is a modern ruler of astrology i felt this a lot i was just like oof like i had non-stop some kind of little accidents happen here and there and I really, the only way I can look at it and, and explain it is, is was the Saturn proximity to Pluto. It makes you be very careful and really make sure like, you know, you take care of yourself, of your things and all of that. So you might have been feeling like very stagnant. This is going to start improving now that Saturn is going further away from Pluto and soon Jupiter is going to join your planet Pluto. I'm going to talk about this more in the astrology video that I'm going to be making soon. But I think for a lot of you guys, get ready to make the best, biggest money of your life. If you want to manifest, um, you know, like if you want to, let's say if you have a business and you want to hire salespeople or if you want to sell yourself things or if you want to just go to a whole next level of the kind of money you make. So let's say you are used to making, I don't know, whatever your salary is. Um, 70,000 a year or 100,000 a year or whatever the amount is get ready to go to the next basically bracket and maybe even skip one so i feel like for some of you you're gonna go to the next um level of whatever money you can make i don't know what, what those brackets are um but for others also it's going to be you're even gonna skip even one or two so there's going to be this very strong growth so you're going to make a lot of money and I think that money and business or just your goals is going well but there is still there is that something maybe you've tamed that part of yourself with this eight of swords here that heartbreak that pain that happened because you're like I have no time for that I have to be almost like a bit more masculine whether you're a man or a woman more calculative here because it's almost like you don't want anyone to see you cry what are you Rihanna <laughs> so you don't want anyone to see you cry. You don't want people to see you weak. You want to see. You want to have people see you doing really well. And I feel like for a lot of you, you are doing really well. But that something is still there. Maybe I'm just talking to a few of you. But I feel like for a lot of you, again, there's going to be an opportunity to release that. Just allow yourself to break down and allow yourself to cry. I feel a lot of you guys haven't even let yourself cry in a long time. This is about balance of this physical and emotional. Yeah, I think it's been it's been a while since whatever the situation is happening happened, but it has impacted some Scorpios here. But at the same time, I feel like if you were completely to be honest with yourself, you the way you are now, maybe you are very smart. Maybe you don't allow people to fool you. Maybe you just really committed to those dreams and those goals finally you know kind of like in the notebook when they uh break up and how he goes and build that house he always had the dream to build or whatever it's like you did that but release something let's see when when it comes to love new experiences what's gonna show up for you money is gonna be great and i'm gonna make a whole other video for that more on astrological um based more on astrology i think um maybe even second half of february when i'm recording this march and april are going to be some of the best money you 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 know it's it, i'm not saying that it's going to be some of the best money you'll ever make but i think the step into that prosperity you always knew was possible for you but maybe you just never had a chance to reach yet this is going to be the moment when you're going to reach out and you're going to make that first step to finally, let's say, if you never received a check larger than, let's say, I don't know, $10,000 or whatever, $1,000, I'm not sure, I'm just throwing numbers out there. Maybe it's even a tax return for some of you, but I feel like it's not just about taxes and stuff, I think it's actual money you make, not the eighth house stuff, the actual second house stuff. Right, so we have here the Queen of Wands and the Magician with the Nine of Cups. Again, there is something here about being very strong, like femme fatale, almost like having no one screw with you. There is again a Leo energy. There is some air energy here as well. The Magician and the Nine of Cups. I think this is the time for you to also get really honest with yourself. All this, I'm hearing this is an interesting message. All these different, let's say you have a wish list of things you want to achieve or maybe things you want to do. How many of them are kind of just good in theory, but then when you do them, you're like, eh, not sure. 
something about that sure you can have many dreams many desires how many of them you actually want so how many of them you actually think you want something about dreams versus reality and i feel like you guys are going to also see how powerful your manifesting abilities are especially in the months of march this is some of this reading is time specific some of it is not some of it could resonate whenever unless i'm mentioning my rule of thumb usually is like unless i mention specific time period it is not time specific but if i mention obviously specific month or specific moments then it is time specific so um it's a mixture i feel like a lot of you guys are gonna see how fast and how quickly you manifest in things i actually had a little bit of that it's a little silly story but i was just thinking this is the funniest story ever and of course it is just an example we are talking about bigger things here but last night for example i was just thinking oh my god i need a new pajamas or some new comfy clothes for my home um and literally 15 minutes or 20 minutes later um a person who i share a house with comes in and she's like oh my sister gave me all these gifts but they're wrong size do you want any of that it was such amazing new brand new pajamas different comfy stuff i was like wow this manifested so quickly i was thinking like where to buy where to go so that kind of stuff but i'm talking here about bigger things actually your dreams and your goals for yourself in life like how many of these things like let's imagine you could get everything you wanted do you actually want all the things you really want? Something along those lines. Because sometimes we think we have all these desires, we think, oh, we gotta do that, do that, do that. But how many of these things are actual desires and how many of these things are actually maybe distractions or just ideas or just things you're trying also to think of in order to fill some kind of void? When I was a teenager, there was this incredible book I read um, back in like Russian language. It was something, I think it was Balzac skin. Hold on. La peau de chagrin. Oh, chagrin. Uh, sorry, my French is very bad. Basically, this is about. Yes, so it's La peau de chagrin. It's um, the skin of sorrow. It's a very famous novel by, um, by Honore de Balzac. And um, basically, there is a young man in Paris who finds a magic piece of uh, basically skin or something that fulfills his every desire. For each wish granted, however, the skin shrinks and consumes a portion of his physical energy. Very interesting, actually. I read this when I was about 12. I don't even know why it right now came to my head because I haven't read this since literally I was like a teenager, 12 or 13 years old when I, um, when I read this. And I haven't read it since, so it's very interesting. Maybe I need to reread it or something. But basically what I'm seeing with this magician and Nine of Cups is like, you have a lot of desires and it's amazing because desire is expansion. It's amazing you have desires. But it's also true that each desire, each project, each whatever we do, it consumes our energy, it consumes our time as well. So how many of these things you think you want are the things you actually want? And how many of these things Maybe you'd do better without. So this is something to think about. Now let's see anything else about person or love that you've been dealing with. Eight of Swords here. There is a sense. Eight of Swords. You guys have Eight of Swords twice. So you feel stuck. Someone else feels stuck perhaps. If it doesn't resonate just now for you. But I just feel there is a sense of either you expecting... I feel like you expect... Like there is a part of you... Um, that's hurt and you kind of you've accepted that you never expected to get better so let's say if it was some kind of person you really loved but they really screwed you over you never expected to get better you just like okay I bury this part deep within me and that's it now I feel someone you could be dealing with could be mirroring your energy but they are kind of I don't know it's I think gonna be different for each of you there is a person I'm seeing here who thinks they can save you who thinks they can take you out of that energy basically like you see how this man here is helping her get out some of them expect you to save them and help them get out of some kind of energy but there is a lot of this eight of swords but i feel like nobody is really stuck i feel like it's all some kind of drama you know telenovela no one is really stuck people here have free choice but it's it's how you perceive the situation how they perceive the situation too let's see what else 
we have here three of swords and look at this eight of swords twice and three of swords twice whoever you're dealing with and maybe this part of the message will only resonate with you for people who are in this kind of you know situations where you've had this difficult connection with someone or whatever which i'm not a fan of this kind of connections by the way but they are there so you know i'm trying to also do whatever i can to help you guys with this but eight of swords with the three of swords and on your side eight of swords with the three of swords twice it means here for me that you are with someone who is in exactly feels a very similar feels like they are in a very similar space as you this person whoever also either feels like they gotta rescue you or they want you to rescue them they feel very heartbroken as well there is two heartbroken people here still so weird what else why are they heartbroken king of cups because they have feelings for you i'm hearing never had a chance to say what they really feel there has been some kind of a change also major change this person has experienced in their life in the past i'm seeing 10 months seven of pentacles 10 to seven months i feel like someone here didn't realize you were still waiting for them with the semper card they try to also become better because they see some what you value maybe in man if it's a man you're dealing with there's aries energy here as well also water energy as well pisces specifically and justice and there is this libra and this libra been coming up a lot for a person you've been dealing with maybe it's a libra maybe they also have a libra someone here has to make a choice this been coming up also for the longest longest time so i don't know what's what's up why they still cannot make their choice let me see the outcome of the situation as of right now because you are just showing me what we've already seen we have here throwing leo for a lot of you guys it's a leo as well so libra aries leo seven of cups if it's a leo the leo is confused the leo is confused because why are they confused queen of swords because you kind of looked like you cut them out and said no to them or maybe told them to go elsewhere or do whatever but now it looks like you've been waiting for them and they're just confused. So what did you want me to do kind of thing? Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. I think communication here could clear up a lot of different things. Given people would be um, willing to communicate, whoever it is I'm picking up here. It's kind of like tough. You guys here... I wonder if it's better for you to just completely leave the situation if because it's it's very confusing it's something like as much as I'm the kind of person and reader as well who likes to make sense of things still and be grounded it's hard to even find a way how to ground this because there's just so much like so much they confuse about much you confuse about it's not clear where it's going out of stores but again communication could make things better we have devil and we have here here and there is some kind of toxic attachments toxic um like an appearance on the uh, like an appearance of doing the right thing but for not such such good reasons here with the devil underneath three of wands there is someone here also who is traveling i'm seeing overseas page of pentacles and page of swords there is going to be a communication while you both are traveling i think they're in the same direction or maybe also we have here, this is March, and also a month when people traveling like during, I don't know, Easter, Passover, during this time, which is what we are reading for. This is making me uneasy. I'm going to have to take this to the extent of this specific situation because basically um, the storyline here is I feel like a person recently found out that you kind of still were waiting for them and still kind of wanted them. But then they got confused because like you cut me off i thought you didn't want me so what like it's, they confuse what you want from them and you are also confused with them uh, maybe you're also confused how you yourself feel as well and there is also something here about um making a choice but it's been also coming up here forever making a choice and also like you are in a complete like mirroring energy to each other they feel stuck somewhere you feel stuck somewhere i feel like they feel it goes two way scenario here either they think they can help you free yourself or i am also seeing they expect you to come and free them it's two different scenario here Oof, this is gonna be in the extended guys so go into the extended if this resonates now let's take you some final messages for this month let's take you some advice what you need to know for this month this was very heavy, sorry guys. But, you know, you're gonna have very good money. So, you know, not everything is bad, right? 
let's see what do you need to know for this month what is your advice how can you navigate this month better be at home so you know we just had um, a lot of energy in your fourth house which for Scorpio Aquarius is your fourth house new moon there then the Sun was there uh, most most February January this was this energy so I feel like now in March this is the time for you to also if you recently moved or if you improved something about your home um, this is the time for you to really like if you guys especially been working a lot on reestablishing your foundation or actually reestablishing your home this is the time for you to enjoy that and actually taking this energy right now taking this energy so it could support you because i think there is going to be a lot of focus on your romantic affairs romantic love your creative projects going forward but without that base it's hard i think to manifest that creative vision or even that better love relationships because home is always that support especially for the fifth house thing so be at home maybe like some of you will feel even that you guys want to spend a little bit time a little bit more time at home so listen to yourself really listen to yourself we also have here oh my god we have milk and honey and we have here soulmates Ooh. and all that glitter is at the bottom I feel like as much as the reading is heavy to be honest we have here something about somebody here I don't know if you guys um, doing a holy trip or something like that some kind of pilgrimage but i feel like here with milk and honey and soulmates if you guys prayed in some spiritual location about a soulmate or if you guys go into such place it's gonna really help and there is gonna be some kind of prayer or wish that you set forth that's gonna manifest it's gonna be very spiritual time there is gonna be i'm seeing here some kind of protection you don't even know that you have this protection but it's it's there um, and you're gonna start seeing that so you are maybe not aware so where is that protection you're gonna start seeing some kind of really like magical almost events coming up divine detours divine interventions it's gonna have to do a lot with your soulmates situation maybe some of you're gonna be meeting your soulmate maybe some of you already met some hopeless even situation could suddenly start looking like there is hope there so found love <laughs> you know um, Yep, this is where I'm going to end this. Link to the extended is going to be down below. So in the extended, we're going to give any additional messages for everyone, but also we're going to look at that confusing situation that's giving me headache already. So we're going to take a look at that. Link to the extended is down below. Again, check out. I have a lot of new options in our Etsy shop. And I love you all guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Astro Wonderland, just like this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel. I answered some of your questions recently about what I do for like lipstick color. For example, I talk about which lipstick color I use, what cream I use, that kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and we'll talk soon. Bye bye.